And so long is a Samsung Galaxy J5 and today I will guide you to the process of the setup of the device. So starting off, we're presented with the language, so choose the language uh, that you desire. I'm going to choose English. So let's go English and then tap on start. So the first thing, connect to the network. I, you don't need to do that, but you can. I'm just going to connect to one. And I'm gonna proceed on. Now, mind you, I think I will need to log into previous Google account, which if I, I believe you might not need to. This, I just resetted this device and didn't log out. So that might be a little bit of a difference here. I agree to the terms of service. And I'm gonna say no thanks. So I guess I can skip it. I don't need to actually log in. So right now you can log into Google if you like um, to sync your data and uh, what else. Um, I'll Google to tap on accept. Um, so I'm gonna, gonna log in here. Now mind you, you can also create an account here as you can see. If you don't have one, and you can skip the step altogether by tapping on the skip. I'm gonna now put in the password for my email. And then I'm gonna tap on next and I get presented with the terms of service for Google. So tap on agree. There isn't very many other options to do. Um, and let's wait. Yeah, so you get presented with a couple options here. You can we disable them or not. Google Backup um, will allow you to backup your data. Uh, use Google Location Service. You can, for the most part, a lot of those or all of them you can basically turn on later on by pulling down the notification panel and just toggling them on and off uh, as you like. So it doesn't really matter what you select here. Then set up a payment info. I'm not gonna do that, but you can by selecting the previous uh, above option. Then date and time that might not be accurate. Let me check. So it's 2.05, not 1. Probably would help if I have a correct time zone set up. So let me get on plus 2. And now it's okay. So that's basically my time. You can set up your, your time zone and then it you should see a correct time and date. Next, set up email. We already are logged into to Gmail, so not really needed. Um, then you have an option to protect your device with a pin or password or pattern. Um, if you don't want to set it up, you can just uncheck this and then you have a skip button. I'm gonna, for this purpose, add one then I get a choice of which one I like. So I'm going to choose a pattern and then I draw the pattern and redraw it again to make sure it's the same and tap on confirm. And one last thing I need to add is a four digit pin in case I forget that pattern. So same logic, um, put it in once and then confirm it once more by putting in the same one. And uh, once you're setting up some kind of protection for the home for the lock screen, you can hide your notifications. So the first one will show them. A uh, second one will hide content, which means if you get a text message, it will show you that on a lock screen that you have a text message, but will not display from who and some of the content also. While do not show notifications will 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 just remove them altogether from the lock screen. So let's continue. And once more, we're taking back. So let's pass this. Uh, then I can basically back up or restore some old device, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to select don't restore. Okay. Uh, this is a Samsung 
account, you can log into it and gain access to like Galaxy apps and find my mobile. Um, if you don't care for that, you can just skip it. I don't have a Galaxy account so or Samsung account, so can't really log in there. Um, get weather forecast. I agree to all. Sure. Again, matter of preference. If you don't want to get weather forecast, you can just disable this. And then you have an easy mode or a normal one, meaning how the display home screen will look like. What you see right here on the images is basically the easy mode and you can just toggle it on if you want it. If you don't want it, just keep it off and then proceed on. And my Knox, I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, some kind of security. So just gonna tap on the finish. And as you can see, now we're in the home screen. So that is basically how you go through the setup process. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.